Hi, I'm Ryan and my life is average. So recently I've been getting more messages from you guys asking how did I get a newer condo and a nicer place and, and different things if I haven't been uploading? You guys know that like the YouTube and stuff is my job and has been my job uh, job for gosh, like six, six or seven years now. And it's a great question because if you don't upload that much, you're not gonna make that much money. So I realized that I had to finally uh, kind of let you guys in on the secret and that is a big secret that I've been kind of holding in for a while because uh, I forgot about it. I rediscovered this and uh, that is Bitcoin and how Bitcoin has made me a millionaire. Now you may be like, what is Bitcoin, Brian? Well, you probably have heard of it. it. It's currency that's like not regulated from banks and the government and things that you probably don't care about. But uh, people bought them years and years ago when they were worth like 10, 20, 30 dollars each. Now each Bitcoin is worth over fifteen thousand dollars. It's been going up and down and crazy story. I have a lot. So back in about 2011, almost 2012, I was in New York with my cousin and we were seeing Lion King in Manhattan. And a guy came up to me uh, when we were waiting out front and we just were chatting about things. And, you know, he tried to sell me on a couple random things and I, I was just in line. So I was bored and I said, no, thank you. No, thank you. And then he brought up a Bitcoin. Do you want to buy any Bitcoin? You should buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin, it's the future and all this stuff. Now I was like, listen, I, you know, whatever. I really don't care or whatever. So he ends up talking me into some things and for $50, He'll give me Bitcoin. And my cousin was like, well, that's a pretty good deal because I'm pretty sure I've heard about this thing on random websites. It's, it's, that would be a good price. I said, you know what, whatever. I was making good money at the time. And I said, okay, whatever. So I bought the Bitcoin from him through him, right? So it all went through and it was kind of sketchy. I'm not going to lie, but he took me into this like little office building, which was not too far from the MTV office. So at least I knew that I was in a, not a terrible area and I shouldn't have went alone, but I did. Went in this little office area, did a couple things, doot, 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 um, and gave me this like handout thing and then gave me the Bitcoin and I was on my way. And that was, that was really it. It was, I wish it was like a crazier story where it was like in a back alleyway and you know, he brought this giant laptop that floated and sent it my way and all this, whatever. I mean, I don't know. I didn't know. I don't still really know anything about Bitcoin. I didn't know anything about it then. I just knew, you know, I, I heard of it. I, I saw the little coin logo on the website once and that's about it. Um, so that was that. I actually don't even remember the guy's name, which if he's watching this, which there's no way he is, but if he somehow is, thank you for that and I feel like I owe him. I'll take him out to dinner if somehow he can prove that it was him. Um, but that was it, it wasn't a crazy thing how it happened, it was just luck and random. My cousin actually was the one that said no, he's now kicking himself, we just talked about it the other day. He was like, who would have thought that this dude was actually legit and this was real and you actually have them and you can hold on to them and whatever. So that uh, I don't know. It's just like one of those things that I am. I'm, I still am shocked it happened, but that's really how it went down. Like, I, I wish I could make up something crazier, like I said, but I, it was, it's not like rice gum sold me the, the Bitcoin or anything. It was just some random guy in Manhattan. And I don't know. I don't know why he was, I don't know. Maybe he got a commission. I don't know what it was, but that's it. That's really kind of how that happened. I really forgot. I think maybe like six months later, I looked everything over and I, I checked online to see like, the, oh, the price of them. And it kind of was the same. It didn't really go up. I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, I feel like I still got a bargain. I probably got a hundred dollars right there, whatever. So that was it. And then I forgot. Just like, you know, when you forget money's in your pocket or you forget about this or this, I just simply forgot that I had this, this Bitcoin stored away, you know, that I had in, in, in safekeeping and I was whatever. So then within the last, you know, year or so, specifically like nine to 10 months ago, people were talking about this Bitcoin thing. Oh my God, it's worth $5,000. It's worth 
$10,000 a coin. And I remember going, oh my God, I have a ton of these things. This is, wh what, are you kidding me? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that something like this finally happened to me. I hear a lot of stories about this and this stuff does happen. You just buy something, you don't realize it and it's worth a lot. So that's how I have this, you know, bigger place and, you know, that's why I have Supreme clothes now. And I've dropped, you know, 10, 20, $30,000 on just things that I've been wanting for a long time that are kind of silly to other people. And it's been, it's been crazy. So a big part of this video is I felt like doing a Shane Dawson type thing and showing you guys a firsthand look on me actually selling my Bitcoin. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, don't, you shouldn't sell it, it still might go up. Um, but I've bought a bunch of things on layaway and with credit cards and I'm ready to pay them off. So I actually hired, I feel like a, a Buzzfeed or something here. I actually hired a cryptocurrency stock handler or a guy that basically handles accounts of this, this cryptocurrency, this Bitcoin. And once again, it might be confusing. That's fine. Basically just a guy that's like an accountant who'll go through and he'll show you the, the right ways to sell it. So there's not a bunch of fees and so it's safe. And so no one's scamming you because it's for me, it's like, I think $1.8 million or something I have in Bitcoin right now. It's insane. And so I looked up a bunch of different people and I found one of the guys um, that I'm going to link up with in a little bit. And I have, you know, all my Bitcoin and I'm going to have him introduce himself and kind of explain everything and what he does and how crazy this is. And then he's going to kind of like live, well, I'm going to edit this, but live with, you know, us here, he's going to sell, unless the, the internet crashes, he's going to sell my Bitcoin and I'm going to transfer it over which is something I can't believe is happening. And as you can see, I'm very excited about it. I can't stop smiling. So um, without further ado, the next cut should be me being richer, <laughs> maybe even more than we thought. I don't know if it goes up or down today. It, it was, it's been down, going on the decline a bit, but it's still insane. So he's gonna come by, he's about 40 minutes out. Um, I even made like coffee and got donuts and cookies. I feel all professional here. I'm excited to share this with you guys and, kind of get this going, so, ah, I don't know. I've never done that before. I guess that's what happens when you get a little money. So, okay, yep, thank you. Here we go. Okay, um, so he is here. Once again, I feel like Shane Dawson here. Um, so I should probably answer the door. I just wanted to do this kind of girl style with you guys because this is, I don't know, I'm trying something new. So I'm going to, I guess, bring him up and then we'll get everything going. Uh, Unless this is like a killer and it is, you're gonna get, you know, catch me dying on camera, so. It is not a killer. Hey man. Are you, are you Ryan? Yeah, come on in dude, thank you for coming. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, we are filming for a YouTube video. I am sorry if that's awkward, but. Uh, okay, but we just need to uh, have the personal information. Got everything up there for you if you wanna come on okay. in. That'd be great. Sorry to uh, make you come on a Saturday. No, but... traffic was crazy, I apologize. Have a seat wherever you want and then we're just gonna film a couple things. I'm gonna get everything set up. Uh, I'll pass it to you. You can kind of do like introduction of like your company so they know a little bit more. Okay. And then I guess we'll just get started. I'm, I'm a little nervous. So if you see me shaking, I haven't eaten. Okay. And That's I'm also hard. nervous. Okay, uh, so I'm going to, if you don't mind, uh, send it over to you. And if you don't mind just like telling my like viewers a little bit more about what you do and what we're like gonna do here and the whole process and whatever you need me to do, just tell me because this is all kind of new to me and uh, uh, yeah, whatever you want to do. Uh, that's fine. Do I do I look at do I look at you? Do you I look at you? Look at me. Or you, you, for, if you want to introduce for this? To the camera, you can do okay, that. just for uh, security purposes, I can't get into too much detail about the company. Okay. My name is Eric Anderson. I've been with the CCS for five years. That's the Crypto Coin Services, and we handle a lot of these private, um, bigger accounts and requests. And that way, we secure that these crypto transactions go smoothly and accordingly for all parties. And that's what we're doing here today. Ryan here has said that he has about 50 Bitcoins, which is a very substantial amount. And that's why we're here to facilitate that. But we need to answer some things first. We need to go through some verification purposes. Would you, would you show me your identification as well? Okay. Don't mind my picture. No, 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 you're, you're- Do you need a, my laptop? I know we mentioned that in the email. I uh, have, yeah, we'll need, we'll need to verify that so that way we can check. I have it right here when so you need it. So we can check the wallet. Uh, so that would be great if we can it. log on to that. So, that but yeah, so this will be a great time that you could show me your, um, Either your wallet. Um, do you want to hand it over? I don't know what you can do. Okay, let me let me go through uh, 
through the uh, site. Wallet wise, I have here if you need that. And there's, real, there's literally just my credit cards okay. in here and my identification is in here and that's it. No, 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 uh, not, not, not. We meant your uh, digital wallet, your crypto wallet over here. Uh, is that okay? okay? You, we had also had mentioned if you wanted to, you could put it on some type of a hard drive. You could give it a thumb drive, a bigger external drive. I, have, so that I way. do have the coins on me. I do have them on me. Oh, you have the drive? I have, I have can, whatever, you, can you please go? Well, I have whatever those? I have on me and I just. Okay. I will grab a little bit over here. Actually, let me get out my, let me get out the checking account so that way I can verify that what we have. A check is good. Can I tell you well, that I've been waiting like six to seven months to do this? Basically, like once I figured it out and I've been super nervous about it. Well, it's great because you really did this at a great time because Bitcoin is right. pretty much a way higher high. You go back a couple months, it was lower. Now, I mean, now you have 50 shares that you're willing to sell, or 50, you're willing to sell. It's absolutely amazing. Awesome. I'm not going to tell you that I did that on purpose, but I... Hey, no, if it works, <laughs> it works. It works. Uh, so do you have the drive? I have the, everything, all the stuff is in this oh, this, is a, this is a This is a cool way to put a flash drive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like a, well, it's like a little uh, treasure chest or something. What is this? Those are the, those are the coins itself. You, so you, you think these are Bitcoins? You realize Bitcoins are a digital currency, correct? There, there's nothing physical you well, should you, have. Well, you that, that's why we asked you if you had your wallet, which I don't see you I, have one on here. Oh, I literally or the, or the hard, I thought you were getting me the hard drive. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm like underprepared. Basically, cause I, that's whatever I have is what I was sold years ago. And I'm super, I'm like uneducated. So I apologize if I'm like unprepared. You don't even have 50 things here. What were you told years ago? What what it, what what's going on here? Basically, when I bought them from the guy, he showed me like what the bitcoins were, sold them here, and I just put them in this box. He said like keep them in a safe place, and I put them in this box, and I had them put like in one of my. Uh, so you realize this blocks. is a legit company, you know? Oh no, I'm not trying to mess with you. It's not. I'm like I sw I I'm not trying to prank you. I don't know, uh, Ryan. If you don't mind, if I'm a little bit more frank with with this. Um, that, that looks nothing more than, uh, fake coins. Um, if I even had to guess, they're not even coins at all. Right. If I really had to guess and I would know, there's, um, there's chocolate behind those. You're right. In the coins. Yeah. What are you, what, in, what exactly are you trying to tell me? That so these right are not, now, I got, that these are fake. They're a, once again, a Bitcoin is nothing physical, a digital currency that's unregulated. Okay. And the only way to do it is you'd have it on a computer in a wallet or some form of a drive that you could pass over. But in looking at actually what you have here, you have nothing. Well, how do we, first of all, how do we know that they're chocolate number one? Oh, here, open one up. So you, you legitimately wasted my time, sir. So no, this organization. I just spent like $30,000 um, on Supreme Hoodies. Ryan, have a great one. It's been very nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you gotta get out of the way. I got it. All right, guys. Um, so that didn't go as I was hoping it would go. And apparently I was fooled. I was duped. And I, you, I should have looked at these before. It is, it is, it is. I can confirm it is milk chocolate. Now I am really screwed because I'm, I spent a lot of money. Bam! Okay. All right. Yeah.